Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here, and I have absolutely no idea what could possibly be in these two nondescript boxes. Let's find out together next. Okay, so obviously I'm having a little bit of fun with you. It is plain to see what I have in front of me here. There was swag included. There's branding all over the place. These are Intel's brand new ARC A750 and A770 limited edition discrete GPUs. They have arrived in the lab for testing. The reviews are coming very soon. But when I opened up these boxes, there was some cool stuff happening inside. So let me jump behind the camera because I want to show you what the experience is like from start to finish unboxing an Intel Arc 7 Series GPU. Okay, so I want to show you what I saw when I cut the tape on these boxes. The first thing you'll see is this little message. And then when you open these flaps, the actual GPU box is lifted up and presented to you. As you can see, this is the ARC A770. It's exactly the same inside for the 750, so I'm not going to open that one in front of you. But let's get inside this box and check out the card. Okay, there she is. I took the liberty of removing the security tape on the front of the box. And as you lift the lid, here we go. There is the brand new ARC A770 discrete GPU. Now this is the limited edition board with the RGB lighting and 16 gigs of memory. There is also an eight gigabyte version coming that does not have all the fancy lighting. But yeah, that is what is inside this box. Let me show you the 750. Okay, so same deal here. This is the ARC 750. The presentation is exactly the same. There is the card. At the top, there is a spot for a little lit pack. But here is the A750 GPU. So Intel just released pricing on this bad boy yesterday. This guy is going to be arriving on October 12th for $289. Looks very similar to the 770. This one is without the RGB lighting as well. But yeah, there is the ARC A750. Let's get a closer look at both of these bad boys. As I was taking the cards out of their individual boxes, I noticed one difference with the packaging. So underneath the ARC A770 limited edition was this little blue box, and inside was this cable. This is a USB cable that connects to the card and then to your system, and it will allow you to control the RGB lighting on the ARC A770 limited edition. At first glance, there is not much to differentiate the cards. They both are sporting dual axial fans and this matte black soft touch finish. There's a nice chamfered edge into the fan openings on both cards as well. And they both have that nice matte black finish. The backside of the cards carry the same design language, but obviously different branding. This card is clearly the A770 limited edition, and the A750 sits up top. The outputs on the card are similar as well. There's some cool Intel Arc branding on the case brackets, and obviously some venting here for the fans. But the outputs are the same as I mentioned. You have three full-size display ports and a full-sized HDMI output. The bottom edge of the cards looks similar at first glance, but there is an important difference. The eagle-eyed among you will spot it. The same goes for the back end of the cards, very similar. And again, the top edge of the card looks similar, but there are some important differences. You can see the two power connectors on the boards there. There's a single 8-pin and a single 6-pin PCI Express power connector. But the A770 limited edition adds this port for the RGB lighting cable. And you'll notice this edge is different than this edge. This is the RGB LED lighting that runs all the way around the A770 limited edition. Intel has already released a ton of information about these cards, so we're not going to rehash it all again here. I'll throw the specs up on the screen for those that want to see all the speeds and feeds. Essentially, the A770 and A750 are very similar. They use the same physical GPU, but one of the render slices is disabled in the A750, and it's using slightly slower memory. So the A750 has 28 XE cores with 448 XMX engines. That's comprised of seven render slices, and there are 28 ray tracing units inside there. The expected graphics clock is 2050 megahertz, 
and it's got eight gigs of GDDR6 connected on a 256-bit interface at 16 gigabits per second. Now that equates to 512 gigabytes per second of peak memory bandwidth. So the A770 is the full implementation of the GPU. It has 32 uh, XE cores with 512 XMX engines. That's a full eight render slices with 32 ray tracing units. The GPU clock's expected to hover around 2.1 gigahertz on the 770 limited edition though, so clocked a little higher. And it has 16 gigs of GDDR6 at 17.5 gigabits per second. That equates to 560 gigabytes per second of peak memory bandwidth. Now also keep in mind, there is an eight gigabyte A770 coming as well. That has the slower memory similar to the A750. Okay, I think I'll wrap things up right there. We obviously have to save some details for the full review that's due to hit next week. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at Intel's ARC A770 Limited Edition and ARC A750 Discrete GPUs. If you like this video, please also like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below so we can get some action from the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to stop by hothardware.com for tons more news and reviews. Once again, this is Marco Cipetta. Thanks for stopping by.